Welcome to the Planet Pearl video tutorial for short rows. Our supplies today, yarn and straight needles. So we start today with a little swatch of stockinette stitch and I'm going to work the short row section in a contrast color so you get a chance to see how it changes the shape. So what we're going to do is going to, we're going to work to one stitch before and then one stitch before the end back and forth and back and forth, which is typically the kind of shaping you see, say, in a sock, uh, especially in the heel, if you're doing a short uh, row heel. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit across until we only have two stitches left. All right, so now that we have two stitches left, what we want to do is we're going to, we want to turn around and go back the other way. But so we don't leave a hole. We have to connect across this bridge there, bridge the gap between the stitches that are being worked and the stitches that aren't. So we're going to move that yarn. Since we're on the knit side, we're going to move it to the front and then we're going to slip as if to knit, which does change the orientation of the stitch. We're going to wrap the yarn back and slip. So essentially what we've done is we've lassoed that slipped stitch to connect it back to the, uh, the main part of the knitting. So now we are going to turn around now that we've lassoed that stitch in, we're going to turn around and we're going to purl back to where we want to turn the work around. So here we are, we have two stitches left. So we want to turn the work back to the knitting side. We don't want to continue to work this. So we have to lasso this stitch as well. So we move the yarn to the back. And on the purl side, you're just going to slip as if to purl, which is tip to tip. Move the yarn to the front and swing the work around because we've now lassoed that stitch. You see it's just it's lassoed. All right, so we slipped the stitch back. It's lassoed around the front. And let's turn it around. All right, and you see the lasso on the stitch? It's right there. So now we're just going to knit to where we're going to wrap and turn. And the abbreviation is W ampersand T, wrap and turn. So we're going to knit to where we're going to wrap and turn, which in this case will be one stitch before the last one. So we want to have three stitches left. So we'll knit to where we have three stitches left. And now we're going to wrap and turn. So we're going to bring the yarn forward, slip it as to knit since we're on the knit side, move the yarn to the back, slip the stitch back to the left hand needle and you've now lassoed the stitch. There was the wrap, here's the turn. That sounds like a, that sounds like a Texas Hold'em poker. So, and then we're going to purl back three stitches left, All right? So now it's time to wrap and turn. So first take the yarn to the opposite side. We're slipping as if to purl because it's the purl side. Bring the yarn back to the front that creates the lasso. Slip the stitch back. Yep, you got a nice little lasso there and turn the work around. And we're going to continue to rock back and forth, lassoing the stitches to make sure that we're not leaving holes behind. So now we want four stitches left. So here we go. We got one more to knit and then it's time to wrap and turn. So we'll bring the yarn forward, slip as if to knit, yarn back, 
and then just slide the stitch back. There's the wrap. Here's the turn. And then we're going to purl back until we have four stitches. There we go, four stitches. Time to wrap. Bring the yarn back, slip as if to purl, yarn forward to create the lasso, slip the stitch back, there's the wrap, here's the turn. So you see how we're adding more fabric in the stitches here that we're working than the stitches that we didn't. It's actually creating uh, a little bit of a cupped shape. So you can use this to create more room across the bust if you're a busty girl. It's also uh, a typical way to construct a heel. So now it's time to work this knit row. We have five stitches, but now we're going to start picking up our wraps. So you're going to look for the wrap. It's right there on the front of that stitch. And here's how we're going to work that row. Now slide it over and drop it behind. Now the reason that I tell you to do that is because if you're working in self-striping yarn, the color of the of the slip stitch is not going to match that row and this actually helps hide it so if you slip it behind if you lift that wrap over the top you really don't see the wrap at all when you knit them together through the back loop so you're going to lift up the wrap put it over the top of that stitch and then you're going to knit them together through the back loop now you're only going to do that back loop thing on the knit side. So here on this part, it's easier to see that wrap because it's a different color. You see what I'm talking about here is that uh, if you've changed colors for stripes or with self-striping yarn, your wraps are going to be a different color. So slide it over the top. Right, then we're going to knit them both together through the back loop. And you see how it that red stitch almost hides that yellow wrap. And then we'll just knit that last stitch because it had not been worked at all. So now we've picked up, on the knit side, we've picked up all of those wraps. And we have to purl back to pick up the wraps on the purl side. Which if you look closely, you can actually see them. So let's go pick up our wraps. Nice little cup shape here. You see how that can make a heel. And the thing about short rows, if you work them at the top of the garment, it pushes it up. If you work, work it at the bottom of the garment, it pushes it down. So you can use it um, for some edging designs as well. But let's go and work back on our pearls. So we're just going to purl straight across until where we have those wrapped stitches and then we're going to have to pick up the wraps on the purl side as well. So let's just purl over to the wrapped stitches. And here we are because we wrapped and when we had five from the end. And you can see they have like a little, uh, they have a little lasso around the stitch. Do you see that right there? It's a little harder to see on the purl side because you, uh, it's the bumpy side anyway. So we're going to lift it up and put it over the top and then we're just going to purl them together. Once again, we're going to lift it up. 
we're going to pull it over the top and then we're going to purl them together. Lift and purl, two, purl them together, purl two together. Although that's really all one stitch. It's just the wrap and the stitch. This one's not wrapped, so we're just going to purl the stitch. Now let's take a look at what we've created here. You see all the wraps are gone. They're all worked into the stitches. If you're going to felt the project, you can leave the wraps and not worry about them. But see how it's creating this little cup shape and how much extra fabric we've added in just by working those short rows where we're adding stitches in a length in the middle but not on the sides. Uh, and here's Paris leaving Chelsea to work a short row. Come visit us soon at planetpearl.com.